and he wrote on a paper, sealing it with wax, and handed me the paper, saying the paper would feed my children. I told him I could not see how the paper could even make one meal for Logan himself, let alone his children, throughout the winter. And the Reverend Brown laughed, saying the paper was the law, and the law could cause a rascal to pay. Sure enough, I gave the paper to the tailor, and he gave me a large measure of wheat, though he grumbled. I sought to repay the magistrate Brown for his kindness, but he would take no deerskins, saying the law was free and made all equal. I would repay him. Near my cabin on the Kishkokilis is a creek, a spring that runs through the white rock. There the water is sweet. Hunters will pass other springs so they might drink from the spring near my cabin. One morning, not long after, I heard the dogs uh, in pursuit of a bear and looked out to see the dogs of the Reverend Brown in pursuit of the bear, and I knew he would follow. So I painted as for war, hid in the brush. Ah, first I splashed water on the stones lining the spring so that they froze. Soon uh, the Reverend Brown and his friend came along in pursuit of the dogs saw the ice on the rocks and placed their guns against the brush while I hid. When they bent over the edge of the spring, I crept up behind them silently so that my reflection was seen in the water. The Reverend Brown turned and grabbed his friend and pulled him into the spring. They both floundered in the spring until they were muddy and the fringes of their hunting frock were frozen. And I began to laugh. 